and this is the tenth, and this is one of our overnight co-leaders, Tidapa Sawanapura from Thailand. It is not a reachable par five, except for just maybe a handful in the field. Had her first career victory last year in Toledo in July. The Marathon Classic won a playoff with Brittany Lincecum. Uh, Jack Nicklaus set the mark for how you prepare for the biggest events of the season. And now everybody, men and women, um, try to do that to build their resume. Plus, back then you all had to set the, the outbound stakes. You had to call the scores in. You, you were uh... Tadapa Sawanapura, second on tour in birdies heading into this week. This for another birdie. Left it below the hole. Yeah, put it Hello. in a good spot to make it. Sensible play from both of the players in that final pairing on the par three. And Sawanapura gets to 12 under. She's out in front on her own for the time being. Tudapa Sawanapura with that approach at 13. She's got new irons in the bag this week and using a new golf ball. Must have found the right combination. So that'll be to bounce back after the bogey on 12. Back up the hill to the 13th highest point on this back nine. Sawanapura to tie the lead. was saying that with her old irons she was struggling to spin the ball and these new irons helping her to get a bit more stop on the ball. Am I right Tom this is the second week for the new irons? I believe so. Yeah. Out to the 15th so one up a second. And that's a really nice approach. Always uh, a little bit of a, a pot luck in how the ball is going to react when you pitch it short like that. Chance for birdie for Sawanapura to get to 13 under here on Saturday at the Kia. We go to Tadapa Sawanapura. Now back in 2016, she broke her back uh, during a practice round at Kingsmill. She was hitting a six iron to the first hole on the Monday of that week and felt something pop in her back and uh, it ended up being a break. She would undergo surgery four days later in Virginia. Her parents couldn't make it uh, from their home in Thailand to be with her in time for the surgery, so she was all alone there. Must have been a, a traumatic time. Uh, the surgeon who operated on her said he was obviously optimistic that uh, the surgery would go well, but there was a chance that she may never be able to play golf again. Uh, despite all of those issues, she bounced back and just a couple of years later was a winner on the LPGA Tour. Okay, so here is Tadapa Suwanapura eyeing the situation at the drivable 16th and we've dispatched Jerry Fultz back to this final pairing. Yes, and debated quite a while with her caddy, Nikki, about which club to hit. Not a driver for too many players in the field. Some are three woods, some are five woods, and we even saw the hybrid, the three hybrid from NASA just a little while ago. Hardly any wind at the moment. Absolutely stunning outside right now, and I understand the beaches, the nearby beaches, are completely packed. I think it is the spring break time mm. um, for a lot of schools in Southern California and uh, the hotel pool um, this morning. There were so many kids having a great time. This is a very good line just right of the hole, but it needs a bounce. Oh, and it got a bounce. Oh, was it going to get hung up? But it caught that rough, Jerry. Mm. There, there's, it's just there, there's a little 15-foot window. Here we are at the 16th in Suwanapur with a second shot on this par four. Downhill lie, short-sided, green slope slightly away. Not easy to get this close. You have to land it on the fringe, and that is almost always the softest part of every hole. That'll be for birdie. 16, birdie putt, Tadapa, Sawanapura. Just slightly back uphill. Maybe moving your hair right, not much. Oh, wow. 
Such a good putt. Yeah. Well, it's just you, so much fringe uh, to play through and then so little green with which to work. Ideally, you want to be able to land it on the green. The lie would make that possible, but it's just such a short shot. Not a comfortable one to hit a lofted pitch shot from, but that is the higher percentage shot to get it close. Yeah, this is one of those cases where a front hole location is not ideal. Watched it closely roll by. Always a good idea to see what it does. Looked like she clipped it the way she wanted to, didn't she? Maybe just a little left edge putt here, based on what the pitch shot did, rolling past the hole. Made a little easier by the fact that the sun is uh, down the line, so not fighting shadows or glare. Okay. So it's Adapa Sawanapura. End of the round of two under par 70.